I'm going to show you how to store food in a cooler in RimWorld. This is my kitchen and cooling area here, which I've got set up with multiple different stockpiles. So the main stockpile here, the larder, if I go to storage settings, you can see the priority is critical. So you want to set up a stockpile and then put it as a really high priority, making sure that all of your food or perishable goods go in here. Because it's critical, it means that that is the top priority for food to go in. And I've said all meals and raw food should go in here. And because I have got this cooled, as you can see, the temperature on the, well, it says indoors is five degrees, which is fine. It won't, um, well, it will spoil in quite a long time because we've got the door here, meaning outside heat will come in sometimes. But we've got the over the wall cooler with a target temperature of minus 10. Now, if I wanted to make this a freezer, I could add a little um, airlock and then add in another cooler on the other side. But this is a cooler anyway. It's only going, it's like sort of five, six, seven degrees, um, which is pretty fine. These are going to spoil in like about 30, 40 days um, as the temperature sort of fluctuates. And outside it's 27 degrees. So what I've done is I've put all my ingredients in this one stockpile. In this little stockpile here called stockpile one, I'm allowing meals, meaning that the meals are going to go in here and ingredients are going to go here. And I've put another stockpile here for stockpile two, where things like eggs and meat are going to go as well. Now, you don't have to separate them like I have, but you can do, obviously, like I have. But as long as you have your stockpile as critical, then they are going to prioritise putting all of the food in this cool area over anywhere else and that is how you ensure that you are storing your food in the cooler in RimWorld.